Greet Philogius, Julia, Nerus and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you. Welcome to Daily Devotions from Cram and Kirk on Wednesday the 12th of August 2020. Inspirational saints are the theme of our Daily Devotions this week. Let us pray together. You fearful saints, fresh courage take. In cloud you so much dread. Are big with mercy and shall break in blessings on your head. Amen. Now Mary gets into many lists as an inspirational female saint and she deserves that status. Mary is calm, she's thoughtful, she's a good listener. But Martha, her sister, also deserves credit, although they are as different as chalk and cheese. <laughs> In my experiences of church and home, there are more Marthas than Marys, and they deserve to be revalued. Let's do so by sharing some of the contributions which Martha, our unsung saint, makes in the Gospel account. Luke chapter 10 says this. Now, as they went on their way, Jesus entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. Hospitality is a huge gift and isn't a genuine and warm welcome to someone's house really valuable? John chapter 11 reveals Martha taking the initiative. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him while Mary stayed at home. Later, it is Martha who makes this statement of faith. I know that if Lazarus will rise again in the resurrection on the last day, and after his healing, she is back at work, preparing and serving. They gave a dinner for Jesus. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at table with him. This was no low-level friendship. Martha, her sister, and her brother are arguably the most important family in terms of their relationship with Jesus in the whole Gospel account. John chapter 11 records, Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Kathy Galloway has a lovely piece called Not Circle Dancing. It reminds me that all of us, like Martha, are more than any stereotypes which have been attached to us through the years. This is what Cathy writes. When I am happy, I don't want to buy a dress or say a prayer. I want to have some friends round, make good food, sit at the table drinking by candlelight, not talk a lot, but listen to the flow and dance of conversation and exchange, or even dance and eat some real, but not a circle dance. Well, perhaps, but I can take it or leave it. I am a different kind of woman. Let us bring our prayers to God. Let's pray together. Great and loving God, as we join in these daily devotions, we thank you that we never do so alone, <clears throat> but in the company of all your people in heaven and on earth. Remind us, we pray, that we belong to you and to one another. Open our hearts and minds to our sisters in the past who have shown hospitality to us in difficult situations who have worked to strengthen people's bodies, their minds and their spirits. Loving parent, hold in your healing presence all who are ill. Draw close to anyone who is anxious and be in all our duties and activities of this day. 
we pray together in the strong name of Jesus Christ. And now we say together his words. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. We close with the blessing. May God give us grace to follow the saints in faith, hope and in love. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon us today and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>